Good morning, people. From a Peruvian coffee plantation where we stayed last night. We are gonna try and blast it straight to the end today. It is a mammoth 27 kilometer hike. The first three and a half kilometers of which are very steep uphill. We're gonna give it a go. I don't know how far we're gonna get, but I would like to get it done today. Uh, it gives us an extra day to explore uh, August Caliente, which is the town right before Machu Picchu. So yeah, let's go. Apparently, what I'm walking on now is the Inca Trail. Our host at the coffee plantation said, you go up on the, on the Inca Trail for a little while on this, on this trek, there is coffee plants absolutely everywhere. All coffee plants. Apparently this area here is only at an elevation of 2,800 meters above sea level. And you can tell from the bugs, my feet got absolutely ravaged last night standing in the grass trying to earth, ended up getting destroyed. So it's very itchy this morning, around the old ankles. Oh, look at these views, just look at this. It's an absolutely beautiful place. Pine trees. Some sort of fruit here, not sure what that is. These look like avocados actually. That does look like an avocado. Great, I'm soaking wet now. That's the only Starbucks you should go to. The benefit to going uphill you get views like this. And that is the only benefit to going uphill. <laughs> Check out this guy. Yeah, Pretty good. good. <sighs> That's uh See? What is it? So like a coffee in bottle? Walk, oh. Like in the night up that little creek or whatever it is and it was full. It was full with fucking animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Max. That's Max. We met him yesterday. He carries his tent around with him everywhere. He doesn't pay for accommodation. He just pitches up his tent and sleeps wherever he wants. It's such a amazing way to travel if you can be bothered he says he used the creek over there to wash he said there was heaps of animals out here last night he's a german guy he's been traveling for eight months he says he doesn't even know when he's going to stop he's just going to keep going until he wants to it's, it's insane what a, what a crazy way to live the freedom of that if you can just wash in a creek and just uh don't worry about all that sort of jazz all the luxuries of life you complete freedom he can go wherever he wants whenever he wants and he does. Hear the parrots. I'm not gonna be able to get them on camera, they're so fast. We're about an hour and a half into the fourth day now. It's been uphill all the way, as promised, but it's not bad at all. Oh. Love the sound of parrots. Makes you feel like you're on holiday. Should be at the top in about an hour or an hour and a half or so. Oh, the view's all the way, man. We've been climbing for about two hours now. It's definitely harder to breathe up here. Holy shit. Can probably feel the, can proper feel the difference. Oh, mate. I can see why people just walk up here today and call it a day. I'm debating it right now. Let's go up here and chill. Another 24 kilometers after this climb. 
seems a bit ambitious to be honest. <sighs> I'll see how I feel when I get to the top. After a little break. <sighs> oh, fuck me. <sighs> Hard work. Two and a half hours up. Got this here. I don't think it's, don't think it's open now. Doesn't really seem to be anybody here. The shop is open. Is it expensive? Is it expensive? Oh, lovely. Look at this. Okay, he's got a right nice setup here. Hola, señor. ¿Cuántos cuestas? Siete. Siete. Okay. Uh, ¿Y Kit Kat? Cuatro. Cuatro. Um, Quiero comprar dos yeah. Kit Kats, por favor. Oh, is there dos? Oh, yes, lovely. He's got more. Oh, Kit Kat. Uh, y uh, uno Powerade. Yeah. Gracias. Sería quince amigos. Okay. Gracias. Bien día. Oh, mate, I've deserved these. I know, I know. Shouldn't eat this shit, but I've just walked up that fucking mountain and it was a long bloody way. And it was tiring. I've had a nice Kit Kat and a nice Powerade. It's a citrus Powerade, so it's nearly an orange juice. <laughs> for your Kit Kat? Mm. Oh, thank you. And you can have some of the Powerade, so you go straight for that. It's the best Kit Kat I've ever tasted. We're up above the clouds now, look at that. Blue skies, how rare. Stunning view. And so the journey continues. Oh, powered by Kit Kat. Holy hell, we're up high now. Probably about nearly three hours in. Yeah. Nearly three hours in. It's been steep. The river does seem a very long way away, considering we pretty much started there. Yeah. It's actually mental how far we've walked. <sighs> it's a lot of uphill. Shortcut. Hmm. Always a little bit dubious about shortcut because there must be some negative to it, otherwise it would just be the way. What is down there? That is La Kutapaka. Shortcut with views. I reckon there's probably a business down there. It's like, yeah, come this way. It's a shortcut. Because all trails go that way and they get completely forgotten about. Yeah. That's what my dubious brain thinks. Yeah, so we're, we're either going to go down this way or we're going to go up that way. And up that way doesn't look like a bloody shortcut to me. No. We need to go over here. Mm. Let's go this way. Let's just go the normal way. I can't, I can't really be asked to go that way. Bloody shortcut. Lakatapaka. Lakapata. Lakatapata. Is that where we're going? Yeah. Alright, cool. Mossy forest. The mossy forest on top of the mountain. It smells very fresh through here. I would not like to be walking up here in vans. We've been extremely lucky here. We can see Machu Picchu. My eyesight is not very good, so I can't really see that well, but it's there. 
Straight in the middle. Straight in the middle. <laughs> and it's just there. This is that bloody mountain. Just, <laughs> yeah, I can't really make it out. Oh yeah. All right, so we've got a long descent back down the mountain. The ruins kind of marks the top and those little restaurants up there. Well, they called them restaurants, but really you can get, it's just a snack, just get snacks and drinks there. There's no actual f proper food, which is what I need. Every day we've had no lunch. It's so silly, we just don't learn ice either. We're just, we're just quietly assuming there will be something along the way. But the sun is blasting us today. Very hot, so back of my neck is red raw. I uh, wasn't really expecting it to be sunny. Yeah, this is Lodge. Yeah, this is it, Lakapata Lodge. Oh. Lakapata Lodge. Machu Picchu. Right, this place here, this is the spot that you will stay at if you only wanted to hike up the mountain. It's, been, it's three and a half, it's more than three and a half kilometers. We've been walking for hours. It is definitely more than three and a half kilometers. We've walked miles today. But this is the spot and you can stay here. I think it's 80. So great there's... view. Great view. It's about 80 solids a night. That will include your dinner and your breakfast. Same as everywhere else. Uh, the drinks in there are very expensive. They were 80 solids per, per drink. No way. 80 solids per... Oh, no, eight, sorry. <laughs> eight solids per drink. So agua, well, water was eight solids, which is like nearly two quid for a little bottle of water. That's a rip off. But you're up in the middle of nowhere, it probably takes them a God knows how they get it up here, to be honest, they probably have to go and get it, but so you know, you're, I understand why it's expensive. But we're just gonna keep rocking on, we're gonna keep going down to Hydroelectrico, get some lunch there, fuel up, and then make our way to Argos Caliente. It's a big old walk. Uh, we're gonna do it. I don't know what the time is right now, Nat. It's twenty to twelve. Twenty to twelve right now, so still the morning, we've got plenty of time. But this is a this is a beautiful setting. I would, actually wouldn't mind staying here. Yeah. It's a very nice place to chill, but at the same time, I feel like we've got the energy to go, so we might as well just do it. Yeah. And just like with up at the ruins, you can see Machu Picchu from here. Again, it's that spot right there. You see the, the curved mountain? Oh, what? What is it? I don't know. Pork something, maybe? Oh, yes, it is. oh, shit. That's huge. What is that? Is that a condor? Matt, come on, wildlife photographer, get that bloody zoom out. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's a hawk? That's so cool. Good spot. We're going to keep on keeping on. I've got my stick back. The sign back there said Hydroelectrico, it's only two hours away. But on the maps, it doesn't look like it's only two hours, it looks like a long way. So we're just gonna keep walking, see if we can make it. It was a 27 kilometer total walk today. That bit that we've done was definitely more than 3.7 kilometers. We've walked a long way. It's about midday now, so we've been going for five hours. Um, and apparently at Hydroelectrico there's a load of restaurants. So get some food there because I'm in dire need of it. Day four is not an easy day if you keep going. It's quite it's quite difficult because it's well it's very humid here and uh, it's slippery on the way down here where it's rained. It's all wet and sweaty, it's not a very comfortable walk today. I kind of just want to get to August Caliente now and be done with it. <laughs> and then Machu Picchu tomorrow. That's the whole point of this. The road to Machu Picchu. Natalia's just made a very good point. We might finally be able to find pizza tonight. I don't want to think about it too much. And I don't want to be disappointed when I get there. It's dangerous to start thinking about pizza in this situation. We can hear the water though so we get close. Yeah, yeah, we can s slowly hear the water. The river, we're definitely getting down there. It's, just, it's not an easy trail, really. 
that river is just not getting closer. I feel like we've been going downhill for so long. The sun is blasting us, by the way. It is absolutely no joke. Had to, uh, got to do this to cover up. There's not really much shade down this side of the mountain at this time of day. We've been descending for about an hour now. It's tough on the old, uh, tough on the old legs. This is going downhill. At least I can breathe now. I suppose that's one thing. I can't wait to get back to Cusco. Deep clean all my stuff. And just have a nice reset. We found such a nice restaurant there as well, and I didn't film it because, well, it was just a normal, normal restaurant. It wasn't any cool food, but um, oh, we will be going back there, and I'll show you that because that food was fucking so good, man. I would love to eat that right now. Look, check out this sign, right? Lactapata, 12 kilometers. 12 kilometers up the mountain. That's where we've just come from. Lakatapaka was uh, where, the gr where the grass was, where we saw the hawk. Have we just come down 12 kilometers? I don't know. 12 kilometers in an hour, that's not right. It's not 1.2 kilometers, is it? Oh no, the point is definitely after the two. Yeah. Oh, it must mean 2.0 kilometers. And somebody's put a one there, because a one doesn't look legit actually, looking at it now. Two kilometers, so we have to come down for two kilometers in one hour. Right. Imagine doing it the other way around and having to walk up that. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't want to do no more walking up today, please. I'm done with walking up. And I'm pretty much fed up with walking down, to be honest. Listen to that. Proper in the jungle. The river is quite close now and the, 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 the track is starting to level out. It's not as, not as bad now. Hydroelectric eye. Apparently is, there's restaurants there, so... I'm getting delirious. I'm hungry. Just keeps on keeping on. It's the guy from earlier who camps. The guy's a machine, he just walks and walks and walks. He did 2,600 kilometers across Serbia and Slovakia and stuff like that. It's insane. Imagine hiking 2,600 kilometers. I'm struggling with this. Woo! We found the bridge. Oh. It should mean it's pretty flat from here on out. Oh, fuck, I've fully had enough. Of that downhill, honestly, that was a joke. Oh, that was horrible. Even Max said that was horrible, and the geezer walked everywhere. Right, only cross three people at a time. Weak bridge. Now, are we talking about three Peruvian people? Or are we talking about some pure British man? I feel like I'm a celebrity leaving the jungle to go back home. Say, say. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. We came from up there. What a bloody mish that was. Let's go all the way up and all the way back down. Surely they could have just made, if you were smart, you'd just make a pathway around the bottom of the mountain instead of going over it or through it. A tunnel would be nice. Maybe I'm gonna put that in the suggestion box when we get to uh, Machu Picchu. Uh, lovely flat land. Must be about 23 degrees today, maybe even more. It's pretty warm. Uh, I'm grateful for the blue skies, but I'd rather, rather be a cloud cover, to be honest. I'm just never happy. That's what it is, I'm just never happy. Just, I can't help it. <laughs> it's, it's wired into my DNA. You will never be happy with the weather. If I was by the beach, I'd be happy. If we're, oh, if we're by the beach, I probably still wouldn't be happy. Okay, that's like a Disney movie. Shit loads of butterflies here. Oh, keep on keeping on. That's what we must do. We all want to see Machu Picchu. And this is the road we must take. That's a huge one. Yeah. Now, did you know the difference between a butterfly and a moth? The difference is a butterfly rests with its wings up. A moth rests with its wings down. There probably is some other reason for it, but that's how you can tell what, what it is. No worries. We've 
I've reached some sort of queue. Not really sure what it is. Control checkpoint. Nice. Oh, that was weird. I had to give him my passport numbers. No, nobody was even checking it. You can write whatever number you want on there. Weird. I had to wait in the bloody sun. Didn't take too long though, to be honest. Five minutes or so. Now we can go to Hydroelectrica. And it seems like it's going to be more like civilization. There's a lot more people here. I think this is where the tours will come to get to Machu Picchu. This is the entrance route for anybody, tours or not. I've got to say, it doesn't feel very nice to be back in civilization. I sort of feel like we should have stayed at that lodge on the mountain. That was sick. This is a bit. It's a bit dead. I don't really like being back in civilization. Have we gone past Hydroelectrica? Because this is now the train track that we have to walk through. I don't know. Check your thing. We might have gone straight past Hydroelectrica. Oh. Is this Hydroelectrica, Nat? Yeah. This is Hydroelectrica. This is not what I was picturing, actually. He was like, oh, the geezer at the, uh, the last accommodation was like, oh, Hydroelectrica, there's so many restaurants there. And look, uh, what, what the... when they say restaurant out here, they mean this snack bars. Oh, snack bars. Oh, what's that? That. That looks like it might be a restaurant. Look like I might be able to get some food there. Oh, they do food, but... Uh, we'll go and check this one out. Oh, mate. I'm I am completely shagged, knackered, and finito. Oh. Well, listen, Nat, you can just go in first, you know. Right, found somewhere. I want, I don't know what I want, I want everything. I think it looks better than it tastes. Should have waited for a pizza. Got another three hour walk now. Just keep me going until then, and then I'm definitely getting a pizza. I'm, I'm done with it. I will not recommend eating in there. The little soup was all right. But that spaghetti bolognese was the most disgusting bolognese I have ever had in my whole life. I know I am not in Italy, but f me, that was awful. Now, we've got a further three hour walk. <laughs> <laughs> Very slowly because I'm in bits. My legs are killing me. No, I'm not walking in the sun. I was just being a sheep following the herd. <sighs> it does seem like that's the footpath. In fact, that definitely is the footpath, Nat. There we go, herd mentality. Oh, mate. My legs are actually really hurting. <sighs> We're nearly done, though. Three hours left. Three hours. Then we need to find accommodation and work out how to do Machu Picchu because we haven't got a clue. We're winging it, as always. I'm just going to turn up and hope somebody can give me a nice comfortable bed with a nice hot shower and show me how to do Machu Picchu tomorrow morning. You're better off going in there if you're going to do Sao Cante Trek and you want to walk to Algos Calientes. Go up all the stairs. You've got a restaurant there. It's cheaper and there's heaps of locals in there. That is a good sign. Where we went, full of tourists. Bad idea. Hola, hola, hola. Oh my word. The heavens have opened. Feels quite nice actually. Perfect end to a perfect trip. Perfect dish. It's never going to be perfect. You're not going to get a perfect trip walking 46 miles. It's not going to happen. But it's a bloody good experience. See some crazy places that you just won't see unless you put yourself through some shit. How typical is this? <laughs> the heavens are fully opened. I had to get the poncho out. 
I was getting absolutely soaked. Crazy. The last two hours, I've been getting drenched. Oh, that is so typical. Oh, oh well. We've been really lucky otherwise with the weather. We've been really lucky actually. It only really rained the first day to be honest and then a little bit here or there. Oh, look at this massive landslide. Oh, my legs are a bit wobbly for this. I've just been informed. The reason why I'm walking right now is because the locals have gone on strike. The trains are not running and the buses up to Machu Picchu are also not running. So we have to walk all this way and then we've got to walk up to Machu Picchu as well. But I'm so knackered that I think I'm going to chill tomorrow and do Machu Picchu the day after because I, I don't think I can walk up there. I'm so knackered. What? Pizzeria. Our prayers might have been answered. <laughs> oh, let's go find somewhere to stay first. We don't have any accommodation sorted. Pizza might finally be on the cards. Very exciting stuff. Oh, it's actually dead here. There's absolutely no one here. Really eerie, actually. A lot of places are closed. I don't really know what the deal is. Must be because it's low season and they've got strikes going on. We're trying to find a hotel. I want to find a nice one for a good price, as always. They've got a banker, De La Nacion here. That is the bank where you can go to get a uh, cash out for no fees, up to 400 uh, soles per day. That's the one you want to go to. I'm gonna go get pizza. Oh, I'm in bits. This fucking hurts. It's all those bites yesterday. Ankle swollen up to like twice the size. Even that one's like bigger. Oh, my shoulders hurt. I took too much stuff. Especially I had the drone and a couple cameras and stuff. Does add up. But I took too much. My bag was definitely the heaviest out of everyone on the, uh, that we met. 46 miles up and down the mountains oh, crazy landscape changes yeah that was a mad adventure that was a mad adventure that was sick one of the top 25 hikes in the world completed didn't cheat either we didn't use it transportation once we've walked the whole thing start to finish feels good i'm glad we didn't get in that car just gonna get a quick pizza get some sleep and uh We'll work it all out tomorrow. No stress. Anyway, good night, people.